Hello boys and girls, thank you for tuning in for Let's Play Secret of Mana 2. Let's go ahead and load where we left off. I am Vicious XUSMC as you know. And look where we are, we are in the Cave of Waterfalls. Not only with two party members, we have Lise and Angela. Now I actually know exactly what to do right now because I just so happened to have just played the last half hour without recording accidentally. Isn't that fun? So I will tell you that right now we are on our way through the Cape of Waterfalls, on our way to the Holy City. And you know what? I'm not even upset because I get to hear this awesome music again. Listening to this music is like so... Nostalgic? How do you say that word? I'm not really sure. And I'm wearing my headphones, and they, they're pretty good headphones, so that I can hear all the bass. There's actually bass in these old Super Nintendo songs, believe it or not. Like, pretty deep bass that you wouldn't hear unless you had a good sound system. Angela levels up, and I'm gonna give her some vitality this time, instead of intelligence. Just so that she doesn't have the uh, HP and defense of a wet toilet paper anymore. Because she can, she can be a strong caster, but that's not going to matter if she's dead. And we still don't have any magic right now anyways. So you can switch between your characters on the fly by using the select button. So I'm controlling Angela and if I press select then I'll be controlling Elise. The only reason I'm using Angela instead of Lise is because she does have the weaker defense. I don't want her getting totally beat down to a pulp by the enemies because the AI is not quite as good at controlling the characters as you are. But you can go into the options menu and select how the AI behaves, whether they're going to use items, magic, stay away from enemies, attack anything they want. Eek! Somebody! Carly! Hurry, hurry! I thought I was gonna die! Thanks, I'm Carly, the cute little girl that lives in Wendell. What are you doing? Kids like you shouldn't come to a place like this. But, but... Heath is a nice priest who took care of Carly because she had no mama and papa. Grandpa told he to go to Astoria, and Carlia has a bad feeling about that. I don't want nothing to happen to my favorite Heath, so Mick helped me escape. But when I met Heath, a bad man kidnapped him. I wanted to go home, but I couldn't get in the cave. Lucky, you came along. I took a wrong turn, and I fell down. And then you came. If you were any later, poor, poor Carly. Oh, stop your whining. Just think about what I've been through. First, my mom tries to kill me. Then, I get possessed by some fairy thing. And now this! Well, I was going to Wendell anyway, so follow me. What? Did Grandpa send you here or something? Uh, I don't need your help. Anyway, Wendell's close by. This way, don't get lost. So this is when you would have gotten Carly if she was one of your t team members, but since she's not in my, my selection, she's not going to join us. 
And she is another weak defense character, but primary healing roles. And she actually starts the game with magic as well. So right off the bat, you can use her healing magic. Mushrooms! And we are out of the Cave of Waterfalls. And we have arrived at the Holy City Wendell. This was a big turning point. We were looking forward to this. People from around the world come to Wendell to find answers. We're a neutral city, so we have no allies or enemies. Sorry, I'm still making preparations. Come back again tonight. Guys planning a big party. One of its ladies' night, since I got two lady party members. We drink free. The Temple of Light is at the northern end of the city. Are the beastmen strong? Beastmen, whatever happens, we'll defend this land alongside the priest. The beastmen kingdom is to the west through a thick forest. A forest so thick, not even the beastmen can penetrate it. That's why they attack by air. Giant birds swoop down, carrying beast soldiers into battle. No, really, I'm not making this up. I'm glad I was able to talk to the priest. He brought out courage I never knew I had. Did you hear? The priest's granddaughter Carly is missing. I'm a big fan of the great priest Heath. The Beastmen invaded Astoria. What are we going to do? I've been feeling tremors around the Cave of Waterfalls lately. Very unusual. We have weapons and armor shops here in Window, but don't get the wrong idea. Our wish is for the world, a world where such things aren't necessary. And I checked out all these shops before, and I found the only thing I needed was armor for Angela. Big upgrade, actually, from 8 to 15 defense. It's huge. Huge! And let's put that on right away so we don't forget. Angel's Grail. Nice. Angel's, Angel's Grail is uh, like a phoenix down. It revives a dead party member. And they're pretty expensive this early in the game, like a hundred luck, I think, so finding one is good. Have you seen a girl wearing a pointy cap? The priest's granddaughter Carly is missing. What if she were eaten by some monster? The 
Temple of Light. The Priest of Light is in the temple. Pilgrimage to Wendell is an important step in everyone's life. Everybody comes here at least once in their lifetime to pray to the Goddess of Mana. In the mountains above us, there was once a great city of light, said to be the place where the Goddess of Mana first set foot on this land. The ancient city is in ruins now. Unfortunately, it's too high for any of us to climb there. Alright, let me take a sip of my beer <laughs> to calm my throat. Uh, there is major dialogue about to come up. May the goddess of mana protect you all. Hmm, so you're the priest of light. You look like just another old guy to me. But I heard that you can help me out. Your Excellency, I am Lise. Princess of the Wind Kingdom, Rolante. We were attacked by raiders from Navarre. King Jolster was killed and my brother abducted. I failed to save the kingdom and father, but I must save Elliot, even at the cost of my own life. Please, I need your guidance. Rolante has fallen? I don't believe it. This is terrible. I fear only the goddess of Mana herself could reverse such a tragic development. Wait, let me speak. My priest, I have traveled here from the Mana Holy Land. The Mana Tree is starting to wither, and Mana is disappearing from this land. A fairy has arrived from the Holy Land. This is a terrible portent. If the Mana Tree dies, the eight god beasts will awaken to reclaim this world. What? What are you talking about? The fairy chose you. That means you must go to the Mana Holy Land. You are the only one who can draw the Sword of Mana. Fairy, you never said anything about this. What's going on? I'm sorry, but the declining power of mana makes it difficult for me. I have to be inside someone. <laughs> sorry. In order to survive over on this side. Okay, so, um, why don't you go possess the priest now that you're done with me? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Once the fairy chooses a host, it can't leave until the host dies. Ha! <laughs> I think I can do without a sword like that. Your mother is also after the Sword of Mana, right? Now is your chance to stand up to her and show her what you can do. Hey! You were reading my mind the whole time? How dare you! Um, I... Huh, so tell me. What's so great about the Sword of Mana anyway? The Sword of Mana is the center of power for all the Mana Spirits. It is the impotent the implement which the Goddess used to create the world. He who holds the Sword of Mana has the power to reshape the world, create and destroy life. It sleeps at the base of the mana tree, under constant guard by the fairies. If the sword is drawn before the mana tree dies, there may yet be hope. The goddess will awaken and save the world. Your wishes may be granted as well. If I can get that sword before mother does, She'll have no choice but to respect me. So, how do we get there? I want to go right now. I'd open the gate to the Holy Land myself, but I don't have the strength left to do it. You'll need to release the energy of the eight mana stones. The goddess closed the gates to the Holy Land a long time ago and sealed its energy inside the stones. So, how can we release it? There was once an ancient spell which could control the stone's energy. War erupted for control of this spell, and the world was torn apart. The bloodshed ended after a curse was put on the spell.
Making it take the caster's life. The spell was lost soon after that. Nobody knows it anymore. But, Mother... Uh... I guess there's no way for us to open the gate. The eight spirits who guard the mana stones, they could probably help us. With their combined energy, we may even be able to open the gate. That may work. Wisp, the spirit of light, resides not far from here. Some people have even sighted him near the giant waterfall in the Cave of Waterfalls. Miss Fairy, let me help also. I know rebuilding Relante is important to me, but it would mean nothing if the mana tree withers and the world is destroyed. Thank you, Lys. When the goddess of mana awakens, surely she will assist in rebuilding your kingdom. Right. So there you have it, guys. Big, uh, big apex here in the storyline. We just figured out what's going on and what we have to do. It's time for us to go back to the Cave of Waterfalls, find Wisp, the Spirit of Light, to unleash the power of the first mana stone. And I do believe that also is going to give us our first magic spells as well. So thank you very much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please rate and subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Vicious signing off.